Emma, how are you? Good, how are you? What's your zodiac animal? I'm a horse. Are you? Yeah, what are you? I'm a rabbit. Yeah. So I'm hoping for some good luck, please. And thanks, whoever's listening to this. But it's like, it's bad luck when it's your year. So you need to wear red to like defend against the bad luck. So why am I wearing this? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all about how much it means to you. Lunar New Year is a big part of my life. I mean, my mom is Chinese, so growing up, it's a big deal. I have a lot of great memories from when I was younger, especially. My Chinese heritage and culture has definitely taught me. I think that that side of my family we would honestly do absolutely anything for each other and it's just this mutual understanding. Family is so important to me. My Chinese heritage I'm so proud of and I, I love being around that side of my family and that's like the best part of the year. And don't you think when you get older and everyone moves away and everyone's busy, like that's the time of the year where everyone makes time for each other and it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, I'm also really proud of that and uh, just sharing food, sharing stories, it's just such a big part of the culture. You travel so much, so you must have to celebrate Lunar New Year in tons of different countries across the world. It's always during term and it's tough to excuse yourself <laughs> mid-feb <laughs> to, to just Sorry, go. Sorry, actually, I just got to go. I just got to one day. for like a week. Like. Just for the food and then I'll come back, yeah, I swear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I never really got to go back to China to celebrate, but I went to Singapore last year and I was there for Chinese New Year, which was amazing. Just going down, seeing all the lanterns, the street lights, it was really nice to feel the atmosphere.